あ、そう、まだまだ、そう。だと見せなきゃ。英語まで参加。プリティバルチェンジなり、プリティバルマシュテ。パンジェシナリ。あれ、あれ、頑張ってることは無駄なわだ。勝負心も彼らにはあった。
that this discrimination can extend even to their family members, including children and grandchildren, is what makes this disease so devastating. More than half of all new cases of leprosy are found in India. In the beginning, it was thought that nowhere would be more difficult to achieve elimination than India. Yet India eliminated leprosy as a public health problem in December 2005, thanks to cooperation between the Indian government, the WHO and NGOs. Even so, many new cases continue to be diagnosed each year, over 127,000 in 2011 alone. For some people affected by leprosy in India and their families, home is a colony such as this one, on the margins of society. Treating the disease and restoring sufferers' human rights have to go hand in hand. This lady is cured of leprosy, but because of this foot ulcer, people assume she still has the disease, even though she doesn't. That's why there's discrimination. That's the problem. In 2005, a national forum was launched in India, forming a network that links more than 800 leprosy colonies spread across 23 states. In 2011, National Forum India was formally registered as a trust with the government. The great thing is, and grand thing is, continuous vision. You know, whenever there is uh, people meet the leprosy affected people, many people do not have, not even sympathy. I believe that people affected by leprosy should play the leading role in the fight against discrimination. The National Forum has representatives in more than 20 states working to improve the lives and restore the dignity of people living in colonies, and their activities have produced many successes. This is the one disease where even your own family will wash their hands of you. The discrimination is intense. When people affected by leprosy take an active role, they are far more persuasive than I can be at convincing society to change its ways. I will continue to be a big supporter of their efforts. Today, as the day approaches when leprosy will have been eliminated as a public health problem in every country, there's a danger that people will start to forget about this tragic episode in the history of humankind. We can't allow that to happen. History must not be forgotten. I want to take the negative image that has always surrounded leprosy and transform it into something more positive for the future. To achieve this, society which has been so closed to this issue for so long will need to become more open. I wish you every success in building understanding for a world free of leprosy and the stigma associated with it. We should uh, feel more sense of responsibility. Uh, he's specifically no longer with us. Achieving the elimination target is not the goal. It's merely a milestone. Work to detect and treat new cases in a timely manner must continue, along with efforts to ensure that no one diagnosed with leprosy is lost to society. Together we must make even greater efforts to strive for the eradication of this disease and an end to the discrimination that surrounds it. Let us continue our fight against discrimination. The fight against leprosy is not over. <laughs>